y'all so first thing first i got a couple things to say before i get right into this video y'all so um this page as y'all if y'all ain't noticed we changed it from the hello family to the Lindsay's because now your girl mary so we changed the channel to the Lindsay's because we're going to be doing a lot more family stuff on here the other page is for mostly like pranks and um challenges and fun stuff like that and this page gonna be strictly family things that we do so make sure y'all subscribe to this channel if you already haven't and get in tune y'all second excuse my looks like y'all like i'm a mess and i've been a mess and i'm a mess take me as i am take me as i, I don't think that's how the song goes but take me as I am, baby. Okay, y'all, I've been a mess, y'all, okay? Thirdly, if y'all can tell by that title, y'all already know what I got planned. Your girl, Xavier, I just got the shower. I threw on my PJs because your girl is going to go spend a night in a NICU with Um, It was an option. You know, they said they have, um uh, like, these hotel rooms and the uh, NICU. So if the moms ever want to stay overnight or whatever. And since he's supposed to be coming home soon, y'all, he doing so well. Since he's supposed to be coming home soon, I was like, why not? You know, and plus I be missing him. So I was like, why not? To give me to it'll give me a chance and also give him a chance to, you know, get to know me better. And it give me a chance to know what to expect when he come home. Uh, Z was not a preemie, so I know how to fucking take care of a child and raise a child but z wasn't a preemie y'all so it, it's a lot more like you know you got to be cautious about a couple things even with all babies but preemies y'all know just a little bit more you know risky you got to be cautious so i took the opportunity to go spend a night with him and that's how i'm getting ready to do okay guys so right yeah. now you see you want to say hey to hello family hello family they probably want to see hello. you hello Hello. <laughs> y'all know Z. But anyway, y'all, um, I'm packing my little bag. I'm using my Brad bag. Y'all, I didn't get no diaper bag yet because I want something cool. Like, I don't want one of them regular diaper bags. I want something probably custom with his name on it or something. Y'all know Xavier, I'm extra. I want something cute, okay? So, I know I got to get me a diaper bag soon. Right now, I'm up in, um, uh, Sun room. Uh, I got him a little going home outfit. He gonna go home in this just in case they do send us home, y'all. Like he passed his car seat, his car seat test. If for those who don't know what that is, when babies in the NICU, they have to sit in the car seat for ninety minutes or longer, depending uh how long it takes for you to get home. I only live ten minutes away from the hospital, so my baby only had to do ninety minutes in the car seat, and he passed it. So I'm so happy for that. So hopefully he gets a chance to go home. You know, if he ain't Brady in, which is uh, his heart rate is dropping, which he been pretty good with that. He been taking bottles, all his feeds with no problem. So y'all, I don't know. They just, they just said prepare myself just in case he go home the next day. So just in case, like they said, I got him a little coming home outfit. I'm going to pack his... um. I'm going to pack his little plush blanket. His clothes, he got at the hospital. He already got clothes and shirts and pants and socks and hats already there. He got his car seat there already. Um, He got um burpee blankets there. Hello, family. He have burpee blankets there already. So, I don't really have to bring much, but a going home out there, I want him in something cute just in case we go home. And a little plush blanket for the car ride. And I got him some more of these. I'm going to pack some more of these um, long sleeve, um, long sleeve, sad snap shirts. I'm going to pack him some of these just in case. And I I haven't received any premium diapers as a gift or I also haven't bought any. But the hospital going to give me a whole box so I don't have to worry about uh, packing any Pampers because they're going to give me a whole box of Pampers. And we going to get on the road, y'all. Z, let's hope our baby come home, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna pack this stuff up in his bed. So stay tuned. We're gonna go over there with Sun Sun and we're gonna see how this night goes, okay? Period. Okay, guys, I'm here finally at almost midnight, which is almost his feeding time. Um, he's here. 
in the room with me. Uh, I'm going to show y'all around this hospital slash hotel room so y'all can see where we're staying. So, first, I'm going to start with the bathroom. So, this is the bathroom. This is a huge bathroom, y'all. This is the bathroom. It has a shower in here and everything. So, if your girl want to freshen up, you got to get all that before I left the house. But, if you ever want to, so I'm comfortable. And this is like a little small room. We got a mirror, period. Um, this the room. He hooked up to his monitors and stuff. He and his little crabby crib room. This little bed I'll be sleeping in. We got a phone and stuff over there and all his little cute stuff. Then they have a TV and a rocking chair. So, nothing major, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all, I just had to get him settled, but yeah. He started his crap already. Son, y'all, he be ready to eat before his feet is time. So, I don't know what he be on, but I'm coming here to get a little quietness so he can sleep as long as he can. <laughs> yeah, I'm so nervous. I don't know why, but I ain't do this in five years, okay? Um, Yeah, so I'm going to keep recording and I'm going to keep y'all with me. Y'all can hear that my voice that I am tired. I've been up since Z went to school this morning and I ain't go back to sleep. So, your girl is tired. Uh, I'm going to tune back in when I feed him at 12 to show y'all how I prepare that. And I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So, it's 12 o'clock. Round one. Y'all, I can't even show y'all nothing else because he was so feisty. He was ready to eat, okay? Ian ain't tell y'all he got his circumcision today. So, he feisty. Right, man? Say my pee pee hurt. Say my pee pee hurt, mommy. Y'all, I feel so bad for him. But y'all, he was ready to eat. I wanted to show y'all how I do the bottles and set up and stuff. Bye. He wants to eat, okay? Say so y'all don't got time for that YouTube stuff you got going on, girl. Y'all, so this is 12 o'clock. Feed. He be killing, he be murking these bottles, okay? Good job. Y'all heard that? He a big man, so y'all be have to push that shit out. Push this shit out. Push this shit out. <laughs> Let me leave this baby alone. He's so cute. I'm so tired. And what time is it? We finished his feed at 1225, and we started like at 1205. So... Yeah. Hey, man. Why you woke? Go to sleep. Hmm? He's so he's so good, y'all. Besides when he want to eat, he is so good. I love him so much. Mm. Come on, let's get you one. Y'all, so this man is milk drunk. You milk drunk? Huh? You milk drunk? You milk drunk, though? Y'all, this man is milk drunk. I think he's ready to lay it back down. I'm ready to lay it down, y'all. <laughs> I got to get up at 3 and feed this man again. So, we're going to see y'all at 3. Okay? Bye. Good morning, y'all. So, y'all, let me tell y'all something. I know y'all like Xavier. What is 3 and 6? Um, Y'all, I was tired, okay? And 3 and 6 was hectic. So, y'all know they got him on a 
before he feed, you know, we we check his temperature and we change his diaper. Y'all know he just got circumcised. So three and six was hectic, especially with me being tired. It was hectic, but it's uh 8.53, almost 9 a.m. Uh, I feel like uh, he did good after he ate. He uh, got put back down to sleep really well, and I was able to sleep. So, we up. We here, son. <laughs> yeah, this man is a high mess. What you crying for? Daddy, you don't want to do YouTube? Huh? Yeah, he said he don't want to do YouTube, okay? But he doing it. He got to get out, get a job, go to school, do something. Right? <laughs> Y'all. So, he's so greedy that he wake up 10 to 20 minutes earlier before his feed. But that's cool anyway because he got to get changed. He got to get his temperature checked. <laughs> So, we be all good. But, um, they warming up his bottle for his 9 o'clock feed. And we're going to get that on the road, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, the doctors came in here. And my little baby not going home. He got to stay another 48 hours because he had a Brady. And like I told y'all, a Brady is a um, heart rate drop, basically. And he had that. Why you do that, son? But he only had that after his feeding. So he had a little choke. None major. Not with me. It was yesterday. So he not going home today. Oh, he got to stay another 48 hours to make sure he don't have no Brady's. But he going to get through it. So I'm going to get through it. They just got to feed me gently. And I can be that tight like mommy's. Right? Why you gotta be gentle with me? Y'all, his little bub be killing these bottles, y'all. You don't want this little bitty more? Okay, y'all, so, like I told y'all, um, he has to stay, my baby. We really thought he was gonna come home today, but I guess not. He had that little Brady, so he has to stay another 48 hours. But I hope he do good in this 48 hours and he able to come home because he needs to come home. I miss him. Mm, that's why I took this offer up to stay a night with him, but y'all hear him. <laughs> but it's 9 a.m. Your girl is up. Your girl got to get up, and your girl got to get up out of here. I can't be this. I can't be here all day with him. Mm -mm. Come on home. Stop them Brady's, and we can be together. But until then, your girl got to get on the road. I got other kids, honey. You ain't the only one. Y'all hear him talking back already? You're not the only one, son. <laughs> but you know this the end uh, I just wanted to show y'all your girl on her parenting skills and your girl on her vlogging skills and I want to uh, keep y'all in the loop so you know stay tuned uh, y'all know of course I'm going to vlog him coming home and morning routines and um, dailies life with fun fun and all that good shit y'all so just stay tuned uh, also comment below or Hit me up in my DMs on Instagram or Facebook and let me know what y'all want to see me do with the kids, you know, because it could be done or what family shit that y'all want to see and let me know, okay? Period. Y'all know I got to show y'all the new wheels, okay? Y'all know I got to show y'all the new wheels, even though y'all probably watched Darnell Block on the Hello Gang page, but we on Hello Family, and Hello Family needs to see the new wheels, okay? So when my son is ready to come home, yeah, I'm going to pick him up in this, you know? I'm going to be picking him up up in this. <laughs> y'all, I'm so dusty, crusty. But y'all keep my towel because my mouth be getting, and my face be getting dry. But y'all, you grew up and go get her some breakfast. Uh, his favorite nurse is in there with him. He's sleeping. Y'all know I just fed him birth to make sure he was all good and clear. Changed his pamper, put some little Vaseline on his wee-wee. Make sure I, that's all set. So he all settled in there. 
Uh, his next feed is at um 12. She, uh, his nurse is gonna do that one, and then I'm gonna do the one at um I'm gonna come back and do the one at three because I'm gonna go home, make sure everything good before Z get out of school and everything good with her, everything good at home. Go give me some breakfast and shit, and I'm gonna just chill till it's time to come back up here, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all. What the hell is that? I just dropped on my car. Don't play with me in my new car. Anyway. Make sure y'all like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned in, y'all. I can't wait till Sun Sun come home. I love y'all, and I'm out.